While I think it's easy to agree that it's all fun and games writing your own algorithms in VEX and seeing them perform multi-threaded on your geometry, sometimes when it comes to more involved techniques, it'd be nice to have access to libraries that package those functionalities that we need. And sadly, VEX is a rather niche language. And yes, you could adapt C libraries or C++ libraries, but you'd basically have to go through lots and lots of trouble to make that work with VEX. However, other programming languages, such as for example Python, offer a gigantic wealth of libraries enabling us to work with cutting edge algorithms. However, when we're in Houdini and want to do such a simple thing as, for example, use SciPy, and let's try doing that by just dropping down a Python node on the OBJ level, and then just trying to import SciPy, and then let's middle mouse on this, we can see Houdini by default does not ship with those more interesting high level libraries. So how do we get those libraries to properly import in Houdini? Well, first, when it comes to Houdini, you want to make sure that you download, let's scroll down here to the daily builds and uncheck the daily builds and just keep the Python 3 active. You want to make sure you downloaded a Python 3 build of Houdini. In my case, I went with this one, 18.5.5.6.3. That's the most current production build. And then you just install it as usual. And then in order to get all these beautiful libraries accessible inside of Houdini, first thing I want to do is install Python on my machine here by just searching for Python and then heading straight to the Python's download side here. Here. And now which Python version should we install? Well, when we go into the Houdini installation directory, you can get a hint by looking at these two folders. We're interested in Python 3 and Python 37 hints at a Python version of 3.7. So let's roll with that. I'll just scroll down here and go with the Python 3.7.9. So let's go to the download here, scroll down, and I just want to go with, let's take the web-based installer here and execute it. In my case, I want to uncheck install launcher for all users because I want to have this installation localized to my user that I created for this tutorial here and want to add Python to my environment variables to the path. And now I'll just go with the default installation here. So after a short while, my installation is completed. So let's close this dialog here and start my command prompt by typing CMD in Windows start menu search bar and start the command prompt here. Let's put this on one side and the browser on the other side of our desktop and search for SciPy and go to the installation side of SciPy here. Most Python libraries by default will be installed using a tool called pip. And for a normal standard run-of-the-mill Python installation such as ours here, this should do the trick. So all I'm going to do here is just copy this line until SciPy here, control C, and in my command prompt here, I'll just paste it, control V, and I just want to get rid of this user parameter here. So all I'm going to do now is, as my dear friend Henry called it, cargo culting on pip, so that it might bring the proper packages. And after a short while the installation is done, I'm getting a warning here, which in this case I can happily ignore. However, one information that's kind of useful if you're new to this is this path here. Let's just go to this folder. So in my user folder here, I want to go to my app data folder, which by default is not displayed. So I'm going to view and check hidden items. And now I can see the app data's folder. And in here, I'm going to go to local programs, Python, Python 3.7. And now I want to go to the lib folder here, scroll down to site packages. And in here is where SciPy and most packages and libraries that you cargo called install via pip end up. And for Houdini, to recognize those libraries and be able to access them and import them, we'll have to tell Houdini where this folder here exists. So let's click in here and copy this whole path here. And then let's go to the Windows Start menu and start typing env for environment variables. So let's go to Edit System Environment Variables here, Environment Variables. And then in here, I want to create a new variable called in all caps Python Path. And in here, I just want to paste the path to this site packages that I just copied from my explorer here. Hit OK, OK, and OK. And that should be it. All that I need to do now is restart my Houdini here. Let's keep our fingers crossed. Drop down a Python node again. And in here, let's again try to import SciPy. Middle mouse on this node. Now you can see nothing happened, so no error. So we successfully installed and imported SciPy, which we can now use. A few tips that I stumbled upon when preparing this brief tutorial. First, try to keep it simple and try not being clever wanting to install Anaconda or any clever Python distro. Just go with a plain vanilla Python 3.7. I got myself in quite a mess when trying to make Anaconda run with Houdini. So stick to the plain vanilla Python. And also, once you created this environment variable, this Python path here, the standard default pip installation of most Python libraries that I stumbled upon so far and tried out just seemed to work. So with SciPy now running and accessible inside of Houdini, there are quite a few interesting things that we can do, a few of which I'm going to cover in our next premium tutorial.